Shine On Media, it's Day here. I'm Billy Unger. And I'm Tyrell Jackson-Williams. Hi, I'm Jake Short. Hey, what's up? I'm Olivia Holt here from Disney XD's Kicking It. Rainy Rodriguez here, and I'm at the Boys and Girls Club of the Los Angeles Harbor. So basically today we're here to uh, make a difference, of course. Well today is actually a Radio Disney event and it's kind of, they've been doing this big back to school drive. There's a lot, like about 250 kids inside that building and today we're going to give them backpack stuff with school supplies. You know, get our hands dirty a little bit, um, make a few changes, uh, help those who are in need. And we're going to be able you know, help them out with school supplies and backpacks. It's going to be great talking about getting back to school and you know, being able to help each other I think is the big motto for here today. And I think you know, it's a really great thing. We're able to not only come here as ambassadors of Friends for Change, but also just to have fun with our fans, meet some really you know, wonderful kids. The boys are going to get a cool backpack and the girls are going to get like a princess backpack. And they're filled with school supplies and the kids don't know we're here so we're actually going to surprise them and we're really excited for that. I think my favorite thing about surprising fans is going to have to be their their reactions and you know how excited they are to see everyone. Um, I think the looks on their faces, I mean, the, and like, especially the smiles because you know I, I live for smiles, you know I, I do a comedy show, I sing, I dance, I act, do all these things. I, I want to entertain people, I want to make them happy. Their facial expressions by far, I've had so many that are just like in shock and their, their jaws just drop. Like, oh I love their reaction because you get those reactions where they immediately like freak out and then you get the ones that are just like like it's hilarious <laughs> you know they grow they're growing up watching our shows and I think you know them being able to connect with us and being able to interact with us is so great I, I love surprising people so I can't wait to see their faces it's the best part is the pure joy and shock on their face I mean it's so cute to know that you can give back this way and they enjoy watching you and I enjoy meeting them and hearing their thoughts about the show and my character and they're awesome I love back to school shopping. Like I get really crazy. Like I'm like down to like color coded. Like each class has a color. So like math was blue. So I had a blue notebook, a blue pencil, like blue eraser, like everything. But it wasn't like a normal blue. It was like aqua sparkle blue. And then like purple was always language arts because purple's my favorite color. And language arts and reading was one of my favorite subjects. I actually I kind of loved going back to school shopping because you know I got to pick out all my folders, all my pencils, you know. And I was a big Hello Kitty fanatic, and I still am. So I try to get every little Hello Kitty thing that I. Good, like a Hello Kitty pencil, Hello Kitty notebook. Just picking out like a, a brand new set, like a brand new backpack with a matching lunchbox. And I was the, I was the Spider-Man guy, so everything had to be Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And that was the most exciting for, for me was actually really showing up to school and just kind of flaunting my new Spider-Man backpack. You know what I mean? Elementary school was the best. If you went back to school with erasers that were in the shape of an animal, you were ultimately cool. I had a turtle one and I felt awesome. I'm homeschooled and I get my books shipped over to my house. So that's, I think that's the best memory ever, being able to just rip them in the, the box and seeing all my new books. And it's, it's, it's awesome because I get to see what I'm going to be looking at for the next year, pretty much. And then I was homeschooled. So I necessarily didn't need a binder. I didn't need like wall, like locker posters or locker mirrors, but I still bought them anyway and hung them up in my little homeschooling section. And, and I, I still use them anyway, even though I was homeschooled. <laughs> I, I mean, I love, I love school shopping. Like I, I, more than sometimes even clothes, cause clothes can be a little stressful, but like when you're looking for binders and notebooks and stuff, it's just pure fun. I love it. Thanks for hanging out with me here at the Boys and Girls Club, um, and I can't wait to see you all very soon. Love you.